Now, recent research has found that nearly 20% of Brits would like to give up using cash forever. Instead, they'd prefer to use cards, online apps or even mobile phones to pay for the things they want to buy. So in today's Ding Dong, we ask, is it time we stopped using cash? Financial guru James Max never wants to use coins or notes again, while journalist Sonia Poulton thinks that it would be a costly mistake to give up cash altogether. So, is this the end of what Harold Wilson used to call the pound in your pocket? I feel a bit of a ding-dong coming on, so let battle commence! James! So, we heard this morning that there we are, you're all clapping your hands saying, oh, we want to keep cash, we want to keep cash, but... Have any of you used a cash machine recently? Yes. Have any of you used a credit card recently? That is the cashless society. Have any of you had how an you, argument... How can a cash machine be a cashless society? Because you're taking cash out, but really it's calculating off the computer. All it's doing is it's saying, here's the cash that actually you should be putting on your phone or your Oyster card or whatever it is, what, because that the, is one step towards... Putting it on a credit towards. card so that they can charge you interest instead of knowing exactly where no. you are with a pound note. Because if you use a pound note anymore, but you know what I mean. Exactly. <laughs> so, you see, this is it. That we're all attracted to cash because we think, oh, Oh, this is so, so sentimental. But actually, it's all about all the things that you already do. You're already in the cash to society. Adopt it. Oh, don't listen to this man. He's a charlatan. He's a you just... <laughs> that, First of all, the only bodies that would possibly benefit from a cashless society would be bankers, governments and financial institutions. Why? What Why? they want to do is take our money that we've worked very hard for, tie it up in their, their um, business See, their seals. Speech. Their speech. Wait a the second. Voice did of I nonsense. did I not just let you say your piece? I think I did. Right, so the point <laughs> that people like James would benefit. Let me tell you why. Very recently, there's been a series of glitches in the banking system whereby we couldn't access our own money. But that's, you... where, that's where the system changes. And the thing is, that this is about your money. This is about protection for you. Having people running around. Say, for example, you've got to pay your rent, you've got to pay your mortgage. You don't use sackfuls of cash, do you? No, you transfer it electronically. It's safer. This is about safety. How many arguments have you had in a restaurant? Oh, who had this? Who had that? Press an app. Done. Ooh. All arguments stopped. So, so it's all about reducing arguments and actually there's a really important point. This is about safety and making sure that you live within your means but more importantly that we take cash out of the hands of criminals, out of the hands of people Ooh. who are exchanging and out of your pockets to make sure that you are not attacked with it in your pockets. Right. James, as a financial guru, are you familiar with the expression, he's got a dog in this race? And so the point is you've got a vested interest in it being no a cashless society. Of course you have. But no the thing is, is that we will get in more debt if we become a cashless society. And one of the reasons being, when you have physical cash in your hands, don't you think harder about what you're going to spend it on? Yes. Yes. You've got cash, That's you true. just pass it over, don't you? And you're not necessarily thinking about it. It's what very easy there. to spend online, you just click. Yes, yes it's but it's also very difficult. For example, with an Oyster card, it's very difficult to spend. As soon as you finish, you're done. So, in fact, what electronic money will do and what the cashless society will do is actually make us much more responsible about our money. Because I don't like you. I don't want to see people getting into debt. I don't want to see people going to payday lenders and taking well, out stop money. Stop that! Let me come afford. back on that. It'll let make you more responsible. Let me introduce another idea to you. Very recently, this government passed Very what quickly. they called a gagging law. Now, if anybody, imagine if our money's tied up in a cashless society and we go against their gagging law. For example, we speak out. They'll press a few buttons and we won't be able to access our money. We will turn into riots. It will be anarchy. I say no to a cashless society. It's our money and we. <laughs> Right, gotta stop it there, gotta stop it there. It could run and run. Should we've heard what our guests have had to say, but what do you think at home? Send your comments to Alan at ITV.com or post them on our Facebook or Twitter sites. Plus, at the end of the show, my lovely studio audience will reveal who they think is the winner of today's ding dong. My thanks there now to both James and Sonia. Thank you both. Thank you. In today's ding dong, we ask, is it time we stop using cash? Before we reveal what our studio audience thinks, let's see what you at home had to say. Richard agrees with him. I like electronic money using debit cards, even for simple amounts. Gives me a paper trail of where I've been. 
Gillian says, and she's with Sonia, I like to know where I am with my budgeting, and you can't do that if you're, in effect, using virtual money. So, if you agree with James and think that cash should be consigned to history, please raise your blue paddle. Or if, like Sonia, you think we should never let go of using notes and coins, vote yellow and raise your paddles now. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. <goodness. laughs> You can have a paddle. Are you yellow? I'm yellow too. One, two, three, four blue paddles. <laughs> out of 205. Sorry, James. Thanks to all my guests today.